only a small number of women like to be controlled and dominated all the time, like in a master-slave relationship. Most women don't like that kind of relationship. Most women want to feel comfortable in a man's masculine direction while still being able to do whatever they want. They want a man who can show them the way and help them both live better lives, as long as he does it out of love and not out of fear. Some men try to control a woman because they don't want to lose her, while others do it because they love her and want her to be happier, more fulfilled, and have a better life. The attraction of a woman for a man is hard and different. Women like different types of men. Sometimes they like guys who are tall and muscular, and sometimes they like guys who are short and bald. Some guys have a lot of money and drive nice cars and live in nice houses. Other guys are simple and rent small apartments and drive old cars. No matter what the guy looks like on the outside, the one thing they all have in common is how they are on the inside. They are all alpha males, which means they all have traits that women like. But some guys think that being a leader means being a bully. Some alpha males are bad boys, jerks, and bullies. However, there are also alpha males who are good guys. A good guy alpha male, the kind of guy almost all women wish they could find, knows that women like to be treated with respect and made to feel like real women. Watch this video by Dan Bacon, who started The Modern Man, to learn how a woman feels about a man and what she wants from a relationship. Changing times. In the last 50 years, women have become more independent in their roles. They can take care of themselves and do almost everything a man can do. But when you think about how long humans have been on this planet, 50 years is like a speck of dust in the desert in terms of evolution. Relationships between people have grown in a very specific way, and even if a woman is the most powerful person in the world, it is the men who lead and protect her. When Margaret Thatcher was the British Prime Minister, she was the most powerful woman in the world. However, she said that her husband Dennis was still the man of the house, which is true for almost every powerful woman. How much more for the average woman? Evolutionary biologists will tell you that a woman has always been most vulnerable when she was giving birth, which is one of the main reasons why women have relied on men to protect them. Other reasons include their lack of physical strength and hunting skills, which meant they had to rely on men to build them shelters, hunt for food, and protect them from wild animals and other men. Even though modern women can do all of these things on their own, their natural tendency is to look for a partner who is mentally and emotionally strong enough to lean on when things get hard. Because of this need to be protected and lead, women like men who are confident, can take charge, and have other alpha male traits. Women like a man who always acts like a man and lets them relax into their masculinity. He has to be a man, not just act like one. Like all social animals, women are attracted to alpha males who are strong, confident, and brave. Still, some women need to be with controlling men. This could be because of how they feel or because they have a deep-seated need to be in charge. Abused women often end up with other controlling and abusive men, but not all women are like this. Most women don't like being controlled unless it's a fetish or something they want. Most women don't like it when a guy tells them what to do, and they'll want to end the relationship quickly if he does. Why do some men try to be in charge of women? Some men like to oversee women, mostly because of how they were raised and what they think about women. Men who like to oversee women tend to be insecure. Here are some of the things that make men feel insecure and lead them to try to control their women in the wrong way. He lacks confidence. A man who likes to be in charge of his woman is first and foremost not confident in himself. This kind of guy doesn't think he can get any woman he wants, so when he does, he tries to control everything she does. He's afraid that if he lets her do whatever she wants, she'll find someone else and leave him. He thinks that if he lets her be herself, dress how she wants, and go out with her friends without him, she will want to spend less time with him or, even worse, will realize what a loser he is and find someone better. At its worst, this need to control her shows up as uncontrollable jealousy and can easily lead to mental and physical abuse. He is weak in his mind and heart. An alpha male can give a woman mental and emotional support, but an insecure guy secretly feels weaker than her and tries to control her so she doesn't see how weak he is. This guy hides his weakness by making his girlfriend doubt herself. He's worried she'll leave him. Deep down, a controlling guy knows that what he's doing is wrong. He is afraid that if his girlfriend knew the real him, she would leave him because she could do better than him. Because of this fear, he controls her and won't let her leave his sight. To make himself feel better, he will say that women like to be in charge. He's afraid she'll be better than him. A man who controls a woman isn't sure of himself, so he's afraid that if he helps her grow as a person, she'll be better than him, show him up, and won't need him anymore. Because of this, he tries to keep her down and control everything in her life. He doesn't like himself. 
Eventually, a woman in a relationship with a controlling guy will see how little self-confidence he has and will leave him. She will see how insecure he is and how he doesn't trust himself or his ability to keep her without controlling her. She will know that he is weak in his mind and heart and that he needs to control her to make himself feel stronger. He has nothing to do. Even though he can fake it well enough to get a girl to like him, this guy knows deep down that his life isn't going anywhere. He doesn't have any goals or plans, and he's afraid that when she finds out, she'll leave him. No real man needs to oversee his woman. It's much better to be in a healthy relationship with a woman than to try to fake happiness and love by trying to control her. The key to having successful relationships with women is to deepen the love, respect, and attraction over time. You must love her without fear, not with doubt. You should always try to be a better man for yourself, her, and the people around you, and you should encourage her to do the same. As a couple, your bond, connection, and relationship gets stronger and more important as you grow together.